I thought we'd sort of put this anxiety to bed, some sort of agreement between the key players in China that they wouldn't keep cutting prices, but it seems they have to. So resolution two, but Elon's hard to predict. But here's what I think is happening. Every automaker in the world is going all electric. Tesla has a cost advantage over everybody else. They're simply put trying to grab market share. What American investors, I think, often don't understand is not only China, the largest auto market in the world now, you've got to win China if you're going to be the global winner. Tesla's being very aggressive. Interestingly, they make 54% of all Teslas made in China today. Part of the reason for that is they can make them less expensively. And I think Elon's trying to take advantage uh, of that uh, price advantage he has as a low-cost provider. Tesla bull and investor Gary Black has just said something that every Tesla investor needs to pay attention to. The analyst called out other Tesla investors who were starting to become bearish on the automaker, giving concrete reasons why these investors should not worry so much about the future of Tesla. Gary Black made this known in a recent tweet where he gave answers to some of Tesla's most pressing matters. In today's video, we're going to explore Gary Black's latest comments and why he thinks that Tesla investors should put more faith in this fast-rising electric vehicle company. So without any delay, let's get started. Tesla loves producing in China because costs there are so low. But you'd be foolish not to be aware of the geopolitical concerns on the horizon. And that's why doubling down on the capacity size in Berlin, expanding capacity in China, and about to break ground this month at the new plant in Monterey, Mexico. So Tesla's not stupid. They're diversifying. They're going to other markets like Mexico where they can uh, enjoy the benefits of lower cost vehicles. But I must say, I, I think Elon, having survived the tough times five, six, eight years ago, where it wasn't even sure the company would survive, is focused like a laser on making sure he has a cost advantage over the others. And I think he's going to squeeze a lot of the new incumbents. And I think what you're going to see very quickly is this big global shakeout again between Tesla, who's sitting on top, the Chinese were coming quickly with very low-cost batteries into uh, Volkswagen, which is probably the other Western brand that I think has done the best at uh, modernizing, bringing battery production in-house and improving manufacturing uh, capabilities. For Gary Black, the Tesla game has more to do with the long term rather than the short term. According to him, while Tesla stock continues to struggle over worries about its pricing and margins, Investors need to remember that Tesla can make up the lost margin by selling more FSD. He added that while portfolio managers are frustrated that Tesla is pursuing short-term discounting rather than building long-term brand equity through education of legacy auto customers on benefits of going fully electric, the long-term effect of this move is what really does matter. Hey guys, and welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Speaking on gross margin, Tesla has said that although it implemented price reductions on many vehicle models across regions, its operating margins reduced at a manageable rate. It also added that it expects ongoing cost reduction of its vehicles, including improved production efficiency at its newest factories, lower logistics costs, and to remain focused on operating leverage as the company scales. Tesla CEO Elon Musk explained that when he said the company was prepared to tolerate thinner profit margins in future to drive higher market share. According to Musk, Tesla is not starting a price war, but only lowering prices to enable affordability at scale. Now, let's dive into Gary Black's comment. But before we do, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. As regards to demand, Gary Black noted that price does not get more Teslas on the road. Instead, convincing non-EV buyers to go EV does. This is where licensing comes into play, both from Supercharger and FSD. Co-founder and senior vice president of Sapien's decision, Larry Goldberg, once noted that incredible benefits that come with Tesla's supercharging deals are actually really good. He described Tesla's supercharging business in five key aspects, including its incredible capital efficiency, standalone profitability, huge upside potential, industry-leading network, and as a key mission enabler. Goldberg stated in his tweet that without a nationwide, dependable charging network enabling rapid charging on road trips, the EV revolution would sputter and fail. And so if Tesla had not initiated this project about a decade ago, this could have been a lost opportunity. Even a previous report from Goldman Sachs 
included estimates of how much revenue Tesla could generate if it actually has other EV charging networks on its network. This investment firm says that Tesla could make over $25 billion per year thanks to this upcoming plan. That is just from superchargers. Tesla's FSD technology is also poised to generate a fortune through strategic licensing. From cutting edge advancements in autonomous driving to groundbreaking AI algorithms, Tesla's FSD holds the key to unprecedented wealth. Many Tesla bulls anticipate a disruptive power of autonomous driving owing to Tesla's strategic decision to license FSD and tap into a lucrative market. From smart cars to self-driving fleets, Tesla's profit margin is set on autopilot. By licensing its FSD technology, Tesla opens up a new monetization avenue beyond its vehicle and energy production sales, and this can significantly enhance its income, making the company more financially robust. Directly licensing a technology and working with the company that designed it is generally a better way to adopt a technology. The recent development opens up the possibility of Tesla directly working with other automakers in ways it hasn't since its early partnership with Daimler and Toyota. It could also help Tesla further invest in other ambitious projects like the Tesla Semi, the Cybertruck, and even unrelated areas like energy generation and storage solutions. Licensing would drastically increase the reach of Tesla's FSD technology. This move might put Tesla's technology in a vast array of vehicles, encompassing various segments from luxury to economy. And so, Tesla's technology could become even more global, influencing how self-driving cars are perceived and accepted globally. Gary Black noted in a tweet that while price cuts are short-term tools to boost volume, advertising could be a long-term tool. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently announced that the car company would try advertising for its products. The Tesla executive disclosed this during Tesla's recent shareholders meeting, stating that the car company will be giving room for advertising, something it's never done in all its years as a company. And according to analysts like ARK Invest, Tachikini, this could be a positive move for Tesla going forward. Musk's announcement marks a significant change for Tesla, a company that has previously shunned advertisements. In its 20-year history, Tesla has avoided running standard paid advertising in preference of relying on the support of customers and supporters to promote its brand. Historically, Tesla has avoided the concept of advertising. The company chose to save money by not putting out TV ads, billboards, or online ads to push its products to consumers. Even Elon Musk had previously said that he hated advertising and that the cash saved was instead poured into product development and other areas of the business. But now Tesla has finally decided to choose the option of advertising. According to Musk, advertising may focus on some of the unique and innovative features of Tesla's vehicles that the broader public may be unaware of. Musk also disclosed that the advertising for the brand will be informative and entertaining, with a higher focus on the actual content. The announcement goes a long way to prove that Tesla vehicle demand will someday skyrocket to extreme levels. The car company has already increased its car production and delivery volume, not only in the US but global markets, and according to Musk, Tesla has made millions of cars since production started, and so considering Tesla's constant effort to ramp up its car production, it won't be surprising to see Tesla selling many more cars than its competitors since production will inevitably meet demand. Tesla has been on top gear when it comes to car production, and investors are optimistic that there is more on the way. But what do you think about what Gary Black has to say? Let us know down below. And for more exciting updates on Tesla, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. We'll see you there.